Thank you, James. New at 6, a Genesee County man arrested, accused of using artificial intelligence to generate fake child porn. Zane joins us now to explain. Zane? Authorities say this is something they train for but have never actually encountered. This case initially started as a sextortion investigation out of Clio after a victim came to Ghost about Trevor Kleinart. That's when investigators say they found the AI generated images on Kleinart's phone. What would you do? You took a family photo, you posted it online like we all do, and that family photo was taken by a predator and it was sent to an AI generator and it was turned into child pornography. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson says that's exactly what happened in Clio. 25-year-old Trevor Kleinart now facing eight felony charges in the county's first artificial intelligence child pornography case. It's shocking to parents that somebody could have a photo that was posted innocently and a predator can give it to an AI. Authorities accuse Kleinart of taking a child's photo from social media and uploading it to an AI porn generating website, creating child pornography of the victim. I can take a photo of you standing here just like that, I can upload that photo into a porn generator and I can take all of your clothes off or I can change the body type. In this case, 112 websites, 112 AI generating websites to filter what he felt was the best way to present his victim to fantasize. The case initially posing a challenge. There's a victim, but there's not. I didn't know the victim, I had no clue. So then we start researching it and looking into people he's in contact with. And then once we see the 34 images that we saw, it was just trying to go through Facebook and build from who he knows and go from there. The sheriff's department urging parents to be vigilant when posting to social media and take precautions such as limiting who can see your posts and what hashtags you use, avoiding ones like back to school. The first hope is you have ghosts. The fact that we're gonna hold people accountable and that we have a prosecutor who is going to walk this walk with us and we're gonna learn as we go. But AI is here and it's here to stay. And these types of cases are not going to end. Kleinart is currently being held here at the Genesee County Jail on a $400,000 bond. In Flint, Zane O'Mare, back to you. Thank you, Zane. And if you know someone who may be a victim of AI pornography or sextortion, the Sheriff's Office urges you to contact Ghost or your local law enforcement outside of Genesee County.